going on y'all welcome back to another episode on the Weston Smith channel we've got the boat in the neighborhood tonight we're waiting on our buddy Justice from Red Day Outdoors we're actually going to launch this boat in a pond inside of this community it's uh, crazy I know yes but actually there's a nice well-built concrete boat ramp at a little pond tucked away in this urban environment so I am just going to cast a line for one second I think he's about 20 minutes away as soon as he gets close I'm going to uh, drive over to the pond right next to this one and we are going to launch this thing. It should be a ton of fun. What I've got rigged up is a deep diving crankbait. We've got a clickbait with Saucy Swimmer. I brought the ghost. There's some clear water and some big fish that have been reported in this place. So maybe we just toss that at the bank for a moment or two. I also got the Saucy Swimmer underspin, the MVP for us lately, and a jerk bait. I'll probably end up throwing something on the bottom, maybe a Texas rig, but we're going to start with this right here. So let me go ahead and just uh, make a couple casts right here at the pond until justice arrives. All right, Justice just texted, he's about here. We gave that a handful of minutes. By the way, it is Easter Sunday, y'all. Uh, I filmed two videos today, and I'm not sure which one's going up first, so if it is not Easter when you're watching this, happy belated Easter. Let's go ahead and head over to the main pond we came here to fish and get this boat prepped and ready. I gotta toss the screens on there, turn the power on, you know, the whole nine, motor support, plug, yada yada. Pretty Caroline, oh, 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 stone cold stone. She was a winner, started working at the dine. Oh wow, and with it being the holiday weekend, the place is packed, y'all. Woo! All right, so the place is very tiny. The parking lot is very small, definitely a kayaker's dream. But despite the fact that it's usually an open lot and the ramp is fantastic, I'm not gonna be able to get in here and like flip the truck around and back the boat in. So I'm gonna wait till Justice gets here and we're just gonna finagle this thing in. We're just gonna back it straight on in, I think. Justice? Is that justice? Just passing the time, I kind of just wiped down the seats. Don't they look clean? Sometimes you got to clean the boat before you take it out instead of right when you get off the water because you want it to look good when you're taking the guests out like Red Day, you know? He's going to be filming and stuff. Can't have the hot tamale looking dirty. People are literally passing by wondering why I have my hood up sitting on a boat in this neighborhood. All right, y'all, Justice has arrived. Oh, he's on scene, man, and he's got the Yakima racks with all the rigs up top. Look at this. Just absolutely not playing around. How have you been, sir? Pretty Doing good? Doing well, bro. Excellent. He's got the GoPro strapped and ready. The man's doing big work over on Instagram as well, by the way, guys. You're going to have to check him out. But he just rocked up. We're going to put things on the boat, and we're going to get launched quick. I have no idea what these folks are going to say or think because I see a kayak out here. I see a Pelican-style boat, and I see some folks hitting the banks, and I see a lot of kids having fun with their families for the holiday. But I don't see anybody on a big old bass boat here, nor have I ever. And I've fished here a handful of times. So let's go ahead and get this thing in the water. We'll see you all in just a second. Let's see what happens, y'all. We're going for the back end right now. Everyone's about to say, what is this man doing? Peep this, this is how sketchy it's getting. Oh, license plate just hit the ground. <laughs> the perfect spot too. Like, did you see this place, right? It's got a beautiful ramp, dude. <sighs> how to back up a trailer 101. And by the way, if you guys are new to like bass boats and trying to figure out how to back up a trailer, the key is this. You want to like pull up away from the ramp as much as possible because you'll be able to like do a U-turn at most ramps, not this one because it's very tight today with all the car traffic. But once you get it straightened up and lined up in front of the ramp that you're backing up to, you just put your hand on the bottom of the steering wheel. And if you need to go left a little bit, you turn the wheel to the left. And if you see the boat cutting over that away and you need to go to the right, all you do is you have your hand on the bottom and you go to the right. And you can see the effect it has in your little side mirrors there. And you're all set. Quick little tip. Let me not hit this minivan. Little sketchy, but I think we made it. Justice going back and saying, y'all, 
and we're gonna actually start fishing. How many minutes into this video are we you think without fishing yet? Probably probably a handful. Two or three? Two or three. <laughs> well, t Justice, tell Justice he wasn't here the first half when we hit the pond while he was on his way here. He didn't see that. I guess if you just wanna park it in the grass right here, if you just wanna pull it off right there, that'll be probably ideal. Should be fine. Just go to the left a little bit if you can, just to the left of hair. Gravy. Easy money, all right. Let's get this trolling motor locked up and uh, get to fishing. Wow, it is a lot dirtier than I thought. Usually this place is pretty clear. It's okay. Oh, I wasn't filming getting you off the dock. Come on, Weston, tell your story. We can roam the banks with this in perspective mode and see if we see some fish. There you go, there's one. Check them out. Probably a decent bass. Yeah, this place usually has like good hydrilla and is pretty clear, so I'm sure in the shallows it's probably fairly clear and there might be some more grass, so maybe that's the deal. Definitely buzzing right over some hydrilla, y'all. 10 feet of water right here. We're pretty close to the bank in this little pond and we're in 10 feet of water. Kind of why I wanted to bring the boat out here. I really wanted to see if there was some cover. I should have this thing in forward mode. I've got it in perspective, but oh, there we go. There's a fish. No way. Justice says he's already got a bite right now. This is nuts. Maybe they are fired up today, kids. Here's one cruising to the right. You can't. Is it? Is it even if you're on the trolling motor? Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay, I didn't know. I saw that ramp and I thought, shoot, this must be. <laughs> Is that the deal? Okay. All right. We'll get out of here. All right, appreciate, it, appreciate the heads up. Thank you. All right. We'll hit some ponds. It's tough. Sorry. Uh, we're going to load up real quick. <laughs> All right, y'all. We got the boot from a resident real quick, so that did not fly. We're going to go ahead and pond top or maybe find another spot to drop the boat in. But he said uh, you're not allowed to use anything with a gas motor out here, which we weren't. We were on the trolling motor. But he said if it has a gas motor, you can't use it. You can tell he's just definitely saying it because he wants to keep the spot to himself, though, because he knows that there's some good fish in here and he's over there fishing the banks himself so i think he's just trying to get us out of here he's like i don't think anyone's called yet but if they do it's gonna be a 500 hundred dollar ticket i was like what perfect concrete ramp out here so that people could look at it all right all right all right let's head out all right, y'all, game plan switch up. Let me tell you what we have on the agenda. It is now 6.47 at night. Sunset is at like 7.40. We can probably fish till eight with enough light for the GoPros to still capture anything for you guys. So we're gonna quickly stop by the house. I'm gonna drop the truck and boat off, cover the thing up, take everything out of it. And we are going to just probably like one rod and reel the rest of the night at a local pond right around the corner. So Justice is gonna drive, we're gonna make it over there and we're gonna try and slay some fish. This has been a number spot for both of us in the past. Let's see what happens, man. We're trying to crank it out for you at the last second. Did not go as planned, got kicked out so fast. All right, y'all, rolling up. Justice is talking about doubling up on the first cast. I'm not gonna say we're gonna catch a lot, but last time I was here, I caught a lot, and last time Justice was here, he caught a lot. I'm gonna say so right. today might <laughs> it's either the triple threat or we're about to get skunked. <laughs> I'm waiting on you. All right, what are you going like red? Yeah. Fire, fire crawl, and I got like a semi shad color. <laughs> Oh, there he is. He's running. He's running. I don't know if he's, I think he's small. Oh, he's a few pounds. Okay. He, he ran at first. Oh yeah, he took off. Okay, keep it tight, keep it tight now. That's a three, that's a three. That's a three. Wow, mission successful. Saucy swimmer getting a nice one out of here. Check him out, he's still kicking boys. They can kick us out, but we're kind of happy they did, aren't we? Well, that could be the first of many, y'all. I'm not gonna chill on that. I would like to get this guy back in the water and go ahead, get me some more. Sunset bite is about to fire up, I reckon. Maybe just one little Instagram shot. Gotta pay the bills. All right then, sir, we have our Instagram photo. You played very nicely, thank you so much. Back into the abyss, he's like right here probably and you can't see him. That's the clarity, but about 10 feet out, it clears right up. And right on that edge is where I'm seeing all these blow ups, y'all. So I'm just trying to cast maybe 
10, 15 feet past it and cruise right to that line where they're ambushing little fish, I would imagine, that kind of peek out from this cloudy, more stained water that are more comfortable up here in this grass and in the shallows. So as soon as they venture out, boom, the bass are ready. Now I'm bringing my bait this way, but regardless, I can tell their activity is right there and that's my target. If I was working this through the cloudy water, sure, I might get lucky, but uh, I'm also doing more of a lifelike presentation, right? Just a, a swim bait versus like, uh, I switched from the bladed jig. If the water was this clarity all through this place, I'd be throwing like a spinner bait. But because it is not, and there's some clear water, this rig right here that y'all have seen me talk about so much lately is getting it done. Carl's bait and tackle for the hooks right here and guggensquad.com for the saucy swimmers, the line, the rod, all that stuff at a discount. So links down below for all the gear. Let's see if we can capture a few more and we gotta get Justice. Justice has gotta catch one. I think he's about to get a huge blow up. He's throwing top water. I almost lost that fish too, by the way. I was like not prepared for the bite. And I was like, oh, he's got it. And then it took me a second just to double check and make sure he was still on before I set the hook. So, oh, there he is. I am kind of surprised he didn't let it go. But a lot of times when I get those swim bait bites, I like to crank down on it a little bit and almost act like you're that fish trying to swim away and make sure you still have that weight and you really have a fish and it's not just uh, grass that you're working through and you feel like you got caught up in. And so if I get a bite, I might crank down a little bit right before I go for the hook set. You might see me do that. Oh, there he is. That's just to also make sure that my hook set, uh, like the apex on your hook set, if that fish is chasing after that swim bait coming towards you and he grabs it and keeps swimming and you set the hook, the apex of your hook set might be way back here because you've got so much loose line. But if you're swimming that bait towards you, you feel that bite, then you crank down and tighten it up. When you slam that hook set, the apex is probably more like right there where you just saw, like right here. That means you are really dialing, you're really locking that fish in. That's just gonna ensure a quality hook set. Make sure you link up and have less chance of that fish getting away because your line was not as tight. All right, something's not right. Nice, dude. All right, Justice is on now, here we go. All right, switched it up. Uh, junior contender baby bass pattern. Big old fish just came running through there. Come on, hit that little baby bass. Yo, whoo, I got smoked. There we go. That's the cast. That's the cast. Come on. Slow rolling this junior contender. You can't tell me it's not about to get smashed. Oh, we got him. We got him. Yep, we got him. I knew these fish were hungry. They just need something a little bit different. I had to find out what it was, and I think maybe that shad belly might have done it because we're seeing fish eat left and right. I'm like, dude, we should be getting hits. And I'm talking about like every cast or every other cast with how active they appear to be at the surface. And so, yeah, he choked it too. Don't get caught throwing treble hooks without some pliers on you. Let me tell you what, let's see bud, fish number two. And then we got the, uh, the holster, boom. Surprisingly, that was a soft eat. I really figured they would hit these hard baits with a little bit more force, a little bit more light left. You guys can still see a little bit. I'm looking at the GoPro screen right now but I don't think we got much more than maybe 10 minutes. The sun has already set. By the way, I would recommend throwing this specific size, the junior size, on the Guggen Squad reaction rod. So if you guys do go pick up a Guggen Squad rod, if you're looking for something new on a discount, then I would get the reaction rod good for crankbaits and a lot of treble hook baits, just with a little bit of a slower tip. It's gonna work out better for keeping those treble hooks pinned and also not ripping them out because you're using something extra fast like I am right now, but I just brought one rod with me. So the muscle is going to get it done. This is a 7.5 heavy extra fast. Perfect for those single hook saucy swimmers. And uh, it's great for chatter baits. It's going to work. It works for this, but there's just potential that it's almost too stiff for those treble hooks, right? You don't necessarily want just a straight rod and a broomstick when you're throwing those trebles. You want a little bit of give. You don't want to be ripping them out. Like I say, you got to let those fish fight a little bit more and, and kind of play them out. Because with these treble hooks, they're smaller hooks, right? It's not a single hook, so they can get bent. I mean, you just gotta, you gotta play with them a little bit. So that reaction rod really is gonna benefit you if you're looking for a dedicated rod to throw. Oh my God, I just got smashed on the surface to throw something like this bait right here. Oh my goodness. I don't, I don't see how these fish are missing the hooks. They're barely eating it. What if I just like bomb one a little further? Like I'm seeing all the action right here, but maybe I can bring a big one up from out deep. As the sun is setting y'all and we are getting close to having to call it this evening, I hope you all enjoyed this video and please do not forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel. If subscribing is not your thing, maybe drop us a little thumbs up if neither are your thing, perfectly fine. But I appreciate the view nonetheless. I'm going to hit you guys up with a recap unless we end up catching another fish here in just a second. All right, we have made it back. It is 9 p.m. and it is time to start editing. I want to wish you guys a happy Easter, if that's what you say. Do you say wish you a happy Easter? I wish you a happy Easter. 
And uh, yeah, just a great holiday weekend. Hope you guys did enjoy it. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Justice the man, Red Day Outdoors. It's been a while since we fished together. And so if you would kindly just drop him a little visit on his Instagram account, check him out. He posts a lot of great content. Otherwise I would say don't even bother. So give him a look. We did end up catching a big one after getting kicked out. So we turned that frown upside down, got back home and are ready to crank this thing out for y'all. It is time to feed Zeke some dinner. Come on, bud. Till next one, y'all. Peace out. <gasps>